Hello friend, welcome to the Java puzzle. Today we are going to discuss about the chat GPT. So in this video, let's take a closer look at the open AI API and integrate two of them, chat GPT and whisper API into our Spring Boot project. So generally, open AI is the one of the leading provider of tools and API for artificial intelligence and machine learning. It has trained cutting edge language model that are excellent at understanding and generating text. OpenAI API provides access to these models and can be used to solve virtually any task that involve processing language. It can do tasks including content generation, summarization, classification, categorization, and sentiment analysis, then data extraction, translation, transcription, image generation so we can interact with the api through http request from any language and in this video we will going to use java in spring boot microservice so let's build a spring boot microservice application and i'm going to give the name of chat gpt whisper spring boot main link of the this source code i will be given in a description section so you can check out that get a link so let's call our microservice name is a chat gpt whisper spring boot and in this pom.xml you can see that there we are at the actuator dependency then spring boot web which is important then we are going to use open theme lombok and our test class for the test class so everything is fine in the pom.xml now let's as we implement the open fiend so this third party rest api integration we are going to use here so there are multiple options to consume api and my personal favorite is a fiend reactive but unfortunately as of this video fiend client reactive still has open issue with spring boot 3 so let's turn to spring cloud open fiend instead so in this video i'm not going to use the open fiend reactive so we are going to use the normal fin here so as i told you like i like open fin de declarative nature so let's get right to it and open this yml and inside this yml you will see inside the resource inside the application yml you will see some configuration like server.port then servlet context path then here is the api key which we have to provide here so generally this api key is an open ai api use api key for the authentication so normally we have to go will be go there and if you are not sign in so you just have to sign in that open ai portal and you have to create a new secret key and here it will create a new secret key for you and just you have to copy this api key and write down in your notepad or you can save in your desktop then you will see here is the gpt model and here you can see gpt 3.5 turbo we are using which is the most capable gpt 3.5 model and optimized for chat at one divide by tenth the cost of text da vinci 003 which can do any language task with better quality longer output and consistent instruction then you will see there is a audio model which is a whisper one and it is a general purpose speech recognition model and it is trained on a large data set of diverse audio and is also a multitask model that can perform multilingual speech recognition as well as speech translation and language identification from audio file in approximately 100 different language from around the world then there is a url http client read timeout connection timeout then we have a url and in the url you will see there is a base url which is a api.openai.com slash version 1 so let's define as a base url here and for chat function we have a chat url and it is defined as the chat slash completion 
then for audio transcription we are creating here create transcription url which is audio slash transcription be aware there are two chat completion related api one is a completion and other one is a transcription so after the yml configuration there is some other configuration is also there we are not going to focus on that uh, so after this application.yml now we have to configure our fiend client so just go inside the java here you will see the open ai client and now that configuration is completed so i'll just show you what i did here so open ai client and here you will see that there is a fiend client we are using and name is the open ai service which can be anything and then there is a url open ai service dot urls and base url so in the application dot yml you will see that this is the base url which we are going to refer here so this uh, create transcription so create transcription is calling the create transcription url and the chat is going to refer the chat url here now after the open ai here we define there and in the open ai client config here we have to define our read timeout connect timeout then our api key our model and audio model all of the these things we have to configure here and then we have to create a four pin here first one is for the options second one is a fin logger then the dryer and api key interceptor if you have any confusion like what is this config and what is this indexed is annotation is doing so you can comment me below and i will create a separate video where i will show you what is this and what is the purpose of doing this uh, option this why we are going to create here the four type of pin here that i will define in a separate lecture but you have to do one thing you have to provide me a comment section and comment request and i will create that then we have a models so inside the model you will see there is a request some request and some responses are here so if i will show you some request and response so you will see there the chat gpt request where we are going to pass the model and the list of messages here so by closely following the api documentation we come up with the request and response classes so here we can uh, uh, request and response classes for the chat completion using gpt 3.5 turbo as we defined here right and uh, this completion using the text da vinci 003 is a slightly different okay so that's why we are not going to use the text da vinci we are going to use the gpt 3.5 turbo then uh, as i show you the chat gpt request is this then chat gpt response with chat gpt are going to provide okay so these are the two main model then we have some sample request response for the audio also so for that there is a transcript request and this is a whisper transaction response okay then the other is a service so inside the service we create here open ai client service and in this service layer constructing the model and call fiend client to trigger the call to the open ai right so this is the method for the chat and this is the method for the create transcription so inside the chat you can see there uh, the message should be sent by the root user then after creating the object of the message we just have to pass inside the message of the chat request and the chat that chat request object is passed inside the open ai chat method so if i will click here so you will see it is calling this fiend client through the fiend client we are calling the chat url okay the same like uh, go back here and in the whisper transcription response we are just calling this create transcription and inside this create transcription through the fiend client 
we are calling the create transcription URL here. Then uh, if you will note that there is a multiple optional parameter we can be pass here. Okay. Uh, if I will go inside this uh, OpenAI service and uh, here you will see that the multiple optional parameter we can pass in the request body to instruct OpenAI API in addition to required parameter. Then at the last we have a REST controller and inside the REST controller you can see here is the two API first one is the chat and second one is the transcription. So this chat is a post call consume message in a JSON format and take a question and output response content okay chat gpt response we are here same like uh, our transcription this is also a post call and consume multi-part form data as we will uploading audio files such as m4a and the api will transcribe the audio file into the text so these are the api and the authentication which i show you inside this uh, uh, where i show you the bean right uh, yeah, yeah. So inside the bean, you will see here uh, the OpenAI API call need to pass a request header, authorization bearer, and the API key which we provide in the application.yml file. Okay, and with our API key. So here we declare that request interceptor, and inside this we just pass here. Okay, now time to run the project so let me change my api key here so it would be blur for you i'll just have to copy this and paste here save it and if i will run my spring boot application so here is the url localhost 8500 api slash v1 slash chat and here is the work question so inside this controller you will see we are going to call here and chat request we pass and it should be return the chat gpt response so if i will click here and click on the send and you will see the output would be here so this is the sample request response for the chat endpoint and here is the request response for the transcription endpoint pretty neat right the Whisper API did a great job transcribing a M4A audio file I record on my laptop into an English text. I'm happy with the result, right? The most exciting part is that this is a merely the beginning. And how do you plan to apply AI into your application? I hope you found this video very helpful. So if you think the same, Please like, share and subscribe my channel and share with your friend. Thank you.